Hi, Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, we are going to be talking about drawing patterns inside of the forecaster and then having the forecaster look for pattern analysis across time. So let's go ahead and take a look at our chart here that we have. Uh, we're still working with Ford here. And what we can do here is when we talked about recognizers and all the built-in things, what we can do is we can actually <coughs> we can actually use defi user defined patterns. So if I come up here and go to user defined pattern select, what I can do is come in here now and look for patterns on the chart and then copy them right off the chart so the forecaster can then go and look for them on that for more of them. So let's just say right here I have this rising period and I'm just going to select it off of my chart. So I've captured that pattern there and I can go ahead and click yes here. Now, now that I've selected that, I can see this pattern here and let's go ahead and just give it a name. We'll call it my uh, Ford pattern since that's where I copied it from. And I can give it a note if I want to. I can also kind of change it if I want to, if I don't quite like the way it looks. And then I can say on what time frames I want it to work if I want it shape and or shape and location. So shape and location is if it fits in kind of in the general area of the chart, kind of the same price level, how many price bars it takes, pattern sensitivity, and then how far out the, the cloud pattern can go once it finds it. I can also invert the pattern, reverse it, kind of play around with it. But let's go ahead and save it. And then we'll rescan the selected analysis for it. Now let's go in back down here in our recognizers and find our Ford pattern and see if we got any hits on it. Okay, so there's our Ford pattern. Okay, so this pattern has hap actually happened seven times in Ford. And if I hover over it, it'll give us a pattern match of how well it's worked. Now that was the one I copied. You can see it's 95% there. Now I did change it a little bit and that's why we have that deviation between the required recognizer pattern and the actual chart pattern. But I can see these kind of really close matches to it and then I can forecast based off of that. And look how look how awesome that uh, that caught, that was there, that pattern. It really came in and and fixed in on that pattern and we can look at our forecast cloud and take a look at how that is going to look moving forward. So some great ways to do that. Now, alternatively, if you don't want to copy, if you want to actually draw your own pattern, what we can do is we can go up here to the recognizer library. So these are all the inbuilt uh, recognizers and I can just draw a pattern. So let's just say I want a V pattern. We'll just do that. And I'm just going to look for a V. Okay, so I can just draw that. Let's just say I want that to take about eight bars. So four bars down, four bars up, kind of just in a, a pivot basically. Okay, so I've got that drawn. Again, I can, I can invert it, reverse it, do whatever I want with it. But let's go ahead and save it and rescan for that. And let's go ahead and go down here and find our V pattern. Oh, there it is right there, it's up toward the top. So we can see we've had a number of V patterns kind of happen on our chart. Now this one, I didn't copy it, remember I drew it. And that one is a very, very close to what we drew. Let's just take a look at the, our probability cloud there. Again, what did, it, what did it do with this pattern? It, it's like went right up to the top of the probability cloud and it's hitting that level. So drawing your patterns and actually putting, putting them in there are a fantastic way to analyze charts as well. Chart pattern recognition is very big. So using the forecaster to draw your patterns or copy your patterns off of a chart is a very powerful way to do it. So hope you found this video useful. Keep watching for more. Thanks.